Alright guys, so as this loads up, let me introduce you to what I believe is part 6, and if I'm wrong, then tough tits, let's carry on anyway. Uh, so yeah, I think we're about to meet Isabella um, for something, because she's going to tell us something or other, um, so let's, yeah, I guess, run around. So I believe her thing starts at 12, and okay, let's just follow the arrow, and then we can. Play around a bit until it's time for whatever we're meant to be doing to happen, so yeah. So yeah, so while we're waiting for the next two minutes to go past, uh, Hope you're having a great day, whatever you're doing. If you're at work, I hope work went well. If uh, it's exam season, then uh, hope the exam's going well. If you're at school, hope school's going well. That's, that's, that's always good. Um, anything else? Um, oh yeah, basically, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna become incredibly ill soon at some point. Because uh, everyone else in the house is coming down with something, and uh, anytime I have a break or uh, some sort of holiday, I always end up uh, getting incredibly sick. Such as Christmas, I was like in bed for like two days, just like dead, um, and it happened like around Easter, the Easter break as well for like a weekend. So. Seems how I'm already on my summer holidays, that is definitely going to happen. I'm just waiting until we get down to 12 and then I'll head on in. Alright. Oh, Otis. Um, go in here and talk to Isabella after we just chainsawed her in the last episode and smashed up a bike, but I'm sure she'll forgive us. Um, can we go along here? Yep. Yeah. Hey, it's Kindle! Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, and here we go with the cutscene. He looks bald. It's weird. Look at that. You must take off his hair when you put the helmet on. Huh? Well, howdy deal. <laughs> oh my god, what are we gonna do here? I wonder if I picked that up in time. Were you bitten? No. It was Carlito. I tried to talk him into coming, but it was no good. He, he doesn't trust anyone. He shot you? He didn't mean to. He was upset. I don't know about you, but I accidentally shoot people all the time. I don't know what he'll do next. Hey, hey. Damn. Sure, let's save, why not?
Continue. I'm so sorry. I never meant Where's that shoot. coming from? Now I've gone and hurt you. Please forgive me. Please come back to me. I know you can hear me, Isabella. I'm sorry you had to get wrapped up in all this. But you know. You know. God's I'm sake. Right. Come back to me, Isabella. There are still things you need to do. I can't do this without you. Please. I know a place. <laughs> Why you fucking stay here then? This guy, this is like the whingiest bastard. Jesus Christ! All right, fucking hell. Alright, I'll tell you what. Oh, we can't even point him. I was gonna send him off ahead because he's gonna keep shooting us like a prick. So, I guess we'll have to hop on ahead. Oh, there's so many. You're pretty much like invincible at this point. I mean, as long as you don't like spend too long. Come on. There we go, Clark. Follow me! And there we go. Brilliant. Up to 636 killed. Not bad. Transporting Isabella. Yeah. Not much to talk about here. So if this, if if all this is, is taking her back to the security room, and then that's the end of um, case four, I think we're on. That is a very short case. Okay, I don't know if I mentioned it last time, but um, the Kent, the photography guy, was like running around earlier, and. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't recording because I was just wasting some time between the next missions or whatever. But Kent unfortunately got killed, which I didn't even know could happen. But yeah, they just, they just ate Kent. Uh, which is a shame because it means that we get to miss out on killing him. And also there was like a weird cutscene which I'm not even sure how it happens but or like what the cr criteria for it is, but you can end up like tied to a like a big pole uh, by like a, a dog collar, and like Frank's like in his underpants, uh, and that's kind of weird. But yeah, so unfortunately we missed out on that, but never mind. He's got a gun, how can he not get through? I don't even know if I need any more batteries, but I was like, I may as well. Look at that, he's literally dying. Shoot them, you have a gun! I don't want to risk putting Isabella down. Because she's kind of important, whereas he's just like a fat guy in a suit. That is... Not using it. Run, 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 run. Move, move. I made a gap. Alright, Kindle is dead. Screw Kindle. Don't know why I wasted my time. Is he gonna get a 69? No, he just gets eaten. Sucks, sucks to be him. Maybe he should learn to use the shotgun that he's bloody got in his hands. Kindle Johnson is dead. Okay, we're okay. Um, Isabella, get up, get up, get up. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
And that was a relief. So we should from here be able to just go through the warehouse and carry her all the way, like just dodge around some and then try and do that little shimmy quickly into the the lift. So here we go. So look, they've left us quite a gap, that's quite nice of them. Easy does it. Easy peasy. And then just rush in. Nah. Yeah. Okay, there you go. He's got to like bash B as much as he can. And eventually, he'll click. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. Okay, what's going on now then? Who is that? Is she hurt? <sighs> yeah. You're looking at the bad guy's sister. Bad guy? The one who caused all this? That's right. Her asshole brother caused the zombie outbreak. His sister? What in the hell is going on here? I mean, does this have anything to do with that announcement earlier? I don't know much more than you at this point, okay? But he shot her, I can tell you that. And just so you know, that would be the same guy that shot you. What's he after? What's his ultimate goal? I don't know. But according to her, his plan isn't over. Not yet. Fine. Consider her in DHS custody. We'll question her when she wakes up. <sighs> oh, from three. I hate that kind of stuff, though, because it means you've got to, like, do nothing for an hour and a bit. Barnaby, he's still here, is he? Oh, so cold. Okay, well I guess I'm gonna have to just waste some more time doing some meaningless bullshit. This might be another case where it's better if I just skip ahead to 3am. So yeah, I guess I'll see you then. Alright then, so I ran around for a bit and literally nothing happened. I got no calls, I got no updates and anything that was going on. So now we're going back to the security room, because she just woke up from her bullet wound. So 32 hours left, which means we've been in here for about 40 hours. So nearly there. A day and a, a third or so left to go. Yeah. I don't really know if my uh, katana is running so low. We should actually now have a spare slot. Run up and pick another skateboard up as well, just because he's in the mood for some skateboard action. And now let's see what Isabella has to say.
What is your name? Isabella. Isabella Keys. Well, Isabella, this is an emergency. So we'll skip the formalities yeah. and cut to the chase. Cut to the chase. Consider this an official interrogation. Consider Tell me this everything an official interrogation. that you know. Tell me everything you know. Fine. I'll explain why all of this is your fault. There was no drug trade in Santa Cabeza. Just an American research facility. They were doing research on some sort of parasitic insect. Like a wasp. A wasp that turns living things into zombies. If you don't believe me, just ask the man who was in charge of that research. The head of the Santa Cabeza Livestock Research Facility, Dr. Barnaby! What? Huh? huh? Down, down. He's turning! Hey! No, you Truth, Doc. Were you conducting experiments with zombies? So the government's now in the zombie-making business. The whole story about the drug trade was a cover-up? What do you know? We were trying to mass produce cattle. Do you have any idea how much meat Americans consume? In a single day? <coughs> that research was absolutely necessary! So I, I really don't have any idea 
how or why any of that works. That was quick. One day, in my village, the people turned into zombies. Those damn wasps. They escaped from the lab. It wasn't long before they got to work. The zombies spread. The army was called in. They killed everyone. This is a long cutscene. Still going. So, the terrorism is a retaliation for a cruel government cover up. Sounds plausible. Or it could be some serious bullshit. In either case, we have to get out of here alive if we want to find out for sure. We have to check if she's been bitten. Let me take a look. I'm a medical technician. I could be useful if you let me do my job. I know I have no right to ask, but please, let me help. If you don't get out of here, the truth dies with you. Just realize how much the lad's fingers resemble sausages. All right. If allowing you to atone for you and your brother's scheme makes things go more smoothly for us, I'm all for it. She looked quite um, aggressive with her check over there. So yeah, Zombie Barnaby. So I think I'm kind of getting the idea now after 13 years of what was going to happen. So... It's basically Americans' fault because they eat so much meat. And there was... So them cloning cattle went wrong and there was like a zombie animals and then there was a wasp that st stung a cattle thing and transferred it when it moved around like that's what I don't get I don't I don't get how it like turns conveys to the wasp like how would the wasp get it just by like touching a a zombie cow but whatever so yeah so Barnaby was a scientist and they're like <laughs> facility in Colito and Isabella's home city is where it happened or hometown or village or country whatever Fascinating stuff. I don't get why why uh, Barnaby just randomly turns into a zombie for no reason. Like, I still don't get that. But nevertheless... There must be a... Another book that I can use. Wartime photography. Cooking... Bom, 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 bom. See, now we've got to wait even longer to get to the next thing. Cycling.
That's quite a good one. And it screwed me out of a zombie point there, because there was another one in the middle. What time is it now? Half past three. Next thing is not till eleven. Ay ay ay. I'm trying to think of like cool stuff that I can show off, but I'm not really sure what there is. I know you can like put the masks on them and stuff and you can heat up pans and they act differently than if you don't heat up the pans. I don't think it's all that exciting. Actually, may as well go pick up another chainsaw. I'm just trying to think how I'd get there from here. Because I could... Why is that arm moving on so? Because I could... Go through... Oh, fresco. Where would that take me? Chainsaw, chainsaw, chainsaw. Yeah, so you go through here and I'll come out in the food court. And then I'll go through to Wonderland. Yep, okay. Yay. Yeah. Well, like, apparently the survivors are running low because I haven't had like, any calls from Otis at all regarding anything. So that's some great stuff. I'm going to check how many, like, case things there are. So there's, like, eight or... Oh, nine. Okay, I was going to say eight or ten. Neither was right. So we've got 11 a.m., do something then, and then we'll have to do another, like, long thing at five. And then... From ten, we just chill, apparently, for 14 hours. And I've already showed off the magnificent pictures in the gym. I want another psychopath guy to kill. There's not even anything on here. Patada Acrobatica. That might be Santa Cabazian. Santa Cabazian? I don't know. This place is empty. Gil. I didn't know you could come across people without... What the hell are you doing in here? Hee <laughs> Feel like a drink, partner? Whistle's drunk, don't you know what's going on out there? Yeah, I know, that's exactly why I'm drinking. You expect me to stay sober in this situation, asshole? Come with me, you're gonna get your ass eaten if you stay here. Goddamn zombies, come on, come and get me. <laughs> Hope you can hold your liquor though, cause I'm yeah. soaking in it. Fantastic. Fantastic. They reuse that um sound effect on Dead Rising 3. When you collect the f f statues or something. I think. Something like that. Something you collect. I've only played it once. Is he gonna stop laughing? No? Alright, bye then. Yeah, change your mind now, didn't you? Bitch. Trust me, no, that's your choice. I'll go, take me with you, I'm going. Gotcha. Gil Jimenez. Well, Gil, you can come with me. Oh, look at him walk, man. I've got another slow poke. Oh. Do you know what? I may as well take him. Okay. We'll go to Wonderland. And then I'll get the chainsaw, and then I'll run back. Through our fresco and out the uh, out that way. Bum, 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 bum. 
Yeah, so I'm, I didn't realise or I forgot that you could come across like survivors without having to get told where they were. So that's cool. Where's he gone? Oh, you idiot man. Great, now we're going to go So how come we can go out there and he's holding on to him and then as soon as we come out in Wonderland... Oh, this time. And this cult's gone, that actually worked. Wow. Although they're probably all up here now. No? Okay. See, sometimes it's rare, but this game isn't always a massive dick. Find a good gap. There we go. Hey, <sighs> and let's. Oh, you idiot! Um, we don't need all this juice. All right, then let's get you back to the safe house. Mr. Jimenez, GJ. There's like a couple in that shop, but we either missed them or it's still to come. It's probably we missed them because I did have a few and I just didn't bother because I was like, screw that. So yeah, the uh, shoulder helping ones are pretty easy. Like the getting them on your back. It's just if you lose them, it's having to try and re catch them, I guess is the word for it. I'm not going through that way because the convict people will still be there unless they've disappeared now because you're into like the last day basically. Well, it's not the last day, but. You know. Actually, that, that hour went pretty quick, so it was about. Eight past. Well, there was like eight minutes left to the hour when I went into the food court. That was close. Yeah. So see all these banners here. I was going across the um, not entrance plaza, north plaza. I think is one that where we come out through the security room and um, it had Parkview Mall is my mall which just reminded me of uh, if I've seen Face Jacker and there's the Moira's drive through and there's got all the, the adverts on people saying how great Moira is Moira's is my Go to for lunch. And shit like that. He's got no idea what I'm talking about, that's fine as well. Anyway, all these miraculously materializing zombies came out of nowhere. Let's try and squeeze you there. And we did wonderful work there. And I wonder why. Actually, it's probably because it's such a small room, but whenever. That'll probably be it, actually. I just answered it myself. Like, notice whenever we leave. Uh, North Plaza or come into this room from the roof it always goes like really quickly like that which doesn't seem that quick but when you compare it to you know like going between plazas and shit like that come on follow me there you go good work get you in here you alcoholic <sighs> well, aren't you grateful? Complete. I can't believe this. <laughs> she can't be that good of a medical technician if she can't tell what is a a bite and what isn't. Good. Yeah. See if Brad's got anything to say. 
I take full responsibility. I do like Brad's voice in this game. It's very uh, manly. Thanks a lot. Oh yeah, Bert, you were there when uh, Aaron got 69 to death. Uh -huh. Hey! <laughs> Look at them! Is this the room for like the cripples and everything? Oh, that's creepy. I appreciate. Anything in here? David. Thanks. I think David Bailey. Where did I get you from? Oh, I think he was the guy that uh, got hit outside the supermarket. Greg, you got anything to say? No, Otis. Get it? Bitten off? This is no time for puns, Otis. What time is it? 20 past 5. And the next thing is at 11. Well, actually, that's pretty much. Uh, half an hour so I can probably get away with ending it here and then we can just do part 7 when stuff actually happens because this one was kind of uneventful other than learning what's going on really and now Barnaby's dead zombie Barnaby Yeah, right, so unless something happens of any interest, which I'm doubting at this point, I'll uh, see you guys next time for part 7, so thanks for watching, and hopefully something will happen. I'll try and make something happen. So thanks for sticking with it, and see you guys next time for part 7. Bye!